Well, if you see the snow falling, it's not snow, uh, burning some wood over there, cleaning up under the shop for another project, but I uh, decided the uh, rain stopped and we're gonna put some extra hook downs and tie points on this trailer. So I like to order these. This is what I've done on my truck. Uh, so we're gonna have to put this in place and weld these down. So I've got multiple places that these are gonna go around because I just the stuff that was on this trailer is not good. It's uh, I don't like the angles. So we're just gonna put multiple more. Uh, even if we're hauling something else, that'll be fine. So uh, what I ended up doing is I like to do MIG uh, non-flux, just MIG wire welding. That's my best welding that I'll do. But this is one of those where I've been doing flux core for a little while and I don't know, it's kind of sloppy, it's splattery. You can do good stuff with it and all that's fine. But I just decided I'm switching back to stick. Um, so I'm gonna set up for just the stick welder. That's what I've done before with all these things. We're gonna crank up the amperage, really weld and uh, glue these things in, say glue, melt metal together. So a disclaimer, I am not a welder per se, never been to welding class, just studied and uh, We'll see how this goes, but. Well, it got to rain in last night. Uh, only got a little bit done. It was dark. I really, even with this uh, setup on, I couldn't see that well. So I finally just gave up when the sprinkling started. So I'm back on it today. Um, total, there's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight of these saws that are getting added on the trailer. So I'm going to carry on with this and uh, go ahead and just look about where I'm going to put it at. I needed something farther back for a connection point. And uh, I don't think we're going to grind down, get that exposed, so we'll start getting a good weld on it.
Well, the wind just picked up again. <laughs> so I'm not sure how much longer I'm going to do this. It's a little bit of, I'm getting a little bit messy with this. Um, this one, I let it lift up a little bit. So I was having to do a couple fill passes to build it up. Um, but yeah, I see clouds coming. We got another cold front rolling in. It's supposed to get down in the mid twenties. So uh, we'll see if this holds off. We get a break between it and maybe we'll just move on to some other things for a little bit. Well, not too awful bad. Um, it doesn't look too bad, but I know that it's gotten up underneath the way these things have a bevel on the uh, this part there. But I need to come around the corners a little bit more. I want that strength on the side as well as this end part here. But uh, we'll do some touch-up maybe at the end.
Well, good enough today. Uh, this worked out pretty well. Uh, I'll probably put a disclaimer at the very beginning of the video. I'm not a welder <laughs> certified or anything else. You could probably tell that. Uh, but sometimes I got to grind something down, do it again. Um, sometimes the strikes with a uh, stick with me it takes forever to get started. I've got a lot to learn, but uh, we just got to get things done. Uh, but what we've done is add eight more points. Uh, I've needed a couple more points. We usually would hook up here for the tractor. There's a couple of times I needed something else here while I'm hauling. And then uh, all the way up here. So if I needed the tractor farther forward with the bush hog on it, I've got a farther point here or from the front. These will typically be used when I transport an extra bucket in the front. Uh, if you don't have enough hook points on your trailer, have, just make them. <laughs> have a blessed day.